Republicans around the country are in the opening phases of a radical plan to change how Medicaid works for millions of Americans. So under current law, the way that Medicaid works is it's based almost entirely on your income. And the Trump administration is now telling states that they can introduce a new requirement that certain Medicaid recipients also work in order to receive health coverage through their program, which is not historically again how it has worked. 10 states now have proposals pending with the Trump administration to impose some kind of work or community engagement requirement, almost all of them shockingly led by Republican legislatures and governors. I love that this is coming right off the bat of giving $1.5 trillion to some of the richest people the world has ever known. We now have to crack down on the people who are make so little money that the government is subsidizing their health insurance. Now let's talk about how these might actually look in practice. So the Centers for for Medicaid basically in government urges states to target any work requirements for non-disabled working adults. Pregnant women, the disabled and the medically frail are expected to be exempt according to this government organization. However, the guidance that the government released on Thursday appears to only suggest not mandate that those populations should be excluded from any work requirements. And so it is possible that at some point poor women, even disabled women who are pregnant will be expected to maintain a certain amount of employment to qualify for the health insurance money. Now, additionally, states are advised to consider a range of activities to fulfill the work requirements, including actual employment, the most obvious form, but also what if you don't have a job and you're doing job training or volunteering or caregiving, important positions. CMS officials said states would have broad authority to decide what will actually be considered in compliance with their work requirements. So while they would like, CMS would like it to be a thing where if you're volunteering or if you're training, if you're trying to you know, get a job, that will count. But in practice, it might not. And this was going to be, we were gonna cover this, and it was going to be sort of a hypothetical that 10 states have this pending, except it's not hypothetical anymore. As of today, we have a state. Kentucky has become the first to receive permission to apply the work requirement. We don't know exactly what form it will come in, but that is going to affect a lot of people in Kentucky. And the worst thing about this, of course, is that it's not just sort of offensive that this is the people that they're targeting, but also that it doesn't make any sense. So the, the, the narrative that they're putting out is that all these people are freeloaders that are accepting their Medicaid and they could be working, but goddamn them, they're not. But statistically, that doesn't actually make sense. A study in Michigan that looked at those receiving money for under Medicaid found that only 27.6% were actually out of work, not working but would work. So the vast majority already were working. And of those who weren't, two thirds said they had a chronic physical illness. 35% said they'd been diagnosed with a mental illness. One quarter said they had a physical or mental condition that interfered with their ability to function at least half of the time. And if you'd like to take a look at this chart, you'll see other reasons why the idea that these people are just freeloaders who are stealing government money for the sin of not wanting to die. Uh, is not actually, it doesn't make sense on the ground. But Kentucky can now do it, and at least nine other states are trying to in the near term. I mean, we're in a big hole in this country, you know, we're in a deficit and uh, we're in a big hole. And how are we gonna get out of this hole unless we push some poor sick people in it? <laughs> to fill it up and then you climb, you climb over them. You climb out of them, yeah. So this is what I would like to see Dick Durbin talking about today, mm. right? Because this yeah. is real ugly shit and this has a direct impact on people's lives. And this is the, again, the demonization of the poor in this mm. country. So it's, and it's not just rich Republicans, it's, it's everybody has this beaten into them. Like I used to make fun of, um, uh, there's a comedian, why do people make fun of people who work at fast food places? Mm-hmm. A guy says, if you're 35 or 40 and you still work at a fast food restaurant, you're you're uh, mentally st- stupid or something. I, I don't wanna say the word he said. And, uh, and I'm like, why do we do that? Why do people, mm-hmm. so again, this is more of that. This is us being angry and trying to hurt people who are the poorest and the most vulnerable in our society. And that's who the people, the Democrats, traditionally stand up for. So it would be nice if this was a big deal today. Mm-hmm. I would like for this to be the big deal. It's mind blowing that, that they're gonna, this is what they're gonna, there's 30 million people without health care already in this country. We wanna add that, we wanna make that number go up a little mm-hmm. bit. We wanna drive as many off of it as possible. And so this, this is the thing you kill Trump with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oh no, I, absolutely, because this is, there's no reason for this. It's absolutely gross. And when you're looking at this, like like where they're squeezing these nickels and dimes out of the poorest among us, the defense budget was how much money? There was how much money? Mm-hmm. Uh, just this thrown at him that, that extra, Trump didn't even ask that for. That was ask extra. For. And you know, yes. it's an extra. Which we 80, hear a lot actually. It's an extra eighty billion dollars that they spent this year that they didn't need to spend over the bill budget from last year. Yeah. It's been said $20 billion could end homelessness in the United States, mm-hmm. 20 billion, that's it. But then our country would fall. 
Why wouldn't we you wouldn't have the military necessary? We would only have the military necessary to do kill everything. everyone on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that we could do then. So isn't that something like why? Like why isn't that part of the Democrats' platform? Why isn't that? Well, hey, it's, we the, can it's a platform of some of them. Let's certainly end, Bernie Sanders talks a lot about it. Homelessness, right? Mm -hmm. Like that should be like their yeah. agenda, and we can do that. We could actually do that. There's yeah. cities around the country that have done that. I think uh, even some Salt Lake City is actually mm -hmm. to zero homeless. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, or maybe just every veteran. Anyway, our veterans. But we, we could do that. We could just let's that. start there, mm -hmm. right? So uh, you know, so that's why it's so crazy. We're the richest country in the face of the earth I've ever seen, and we're still trying to deny health care to the poorest and most vulnerable people yeah. in our society. And these are winning issues if you're running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it could be. I mean, the idea that this is going to in any way pay for the huge cost of the tax cuts, of course, it's not going to. Um, but also, to some extent, I think the Republicans just like. This sort of policy, or you know, if you're on welfare, we're gonna drug test you. I'm assuming mm. you're probably on drugs and not the cool drugs that I get from the doctor. You're on uh, poor people drugs, and so we're gonna make you a drug test for that. And I think one of the reasons they do it is a lot of their voters like that stuff. They like to see, you know, maybe I'm not well off, and like it would be great to have policies that actually improve my life. But if that's not gonna happen, at least I want to be able to look down on other people who are poorer than me. Yes, and that's what the rich have been doing throughout the history of America is pitting people who need the most help against each other so that they don't actually get their situation improved. Well, I think Republicans have really proven as of recent that they just hate the idea of health insurance. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, there's footage of Paul yeah. Ryan saying like, the problem with health insurance is that uh, it's actual insurance and poor people can get help. But well, like he, the he literally said that, for not the sick so pay many, for the, or the healthy, the pay, healthy for the pay for the sick, which is the whole yeah. purpose of insurance. He's recognizing, I know what insurance is, I just hate the idea of it. I don't like it. Uh, that's why the AHCA took healthcare away from millions of people. A bill that actually is a quote, healthcare bill yeah. that takes healthcare away from millions of people. It was like, how many millions can we exclude? So, you know. And still fit it in with 51 votes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's like, when you have one side that just hates the idea of health insurance in general, yeah. another side that just has no plan whatsoever, you know, you, you have nothing mm -hmm. to vote for, you have something to vote against. Well, these people hate health care. These yeah. people want to see me die in the streets. That's bad, uh, but still don't have health care. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, Home of the Revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.